Good morning, friends. Today is Thursday. Um, I, today's my dad's birthday, too. Um, I didn't realize that until earlier. I was confused with my days. <laughs> um, anyway, so hey, so I just finished another video and I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna actually add that one to this one. I'm not exactly how sure long how sure that one long it's going to be. I don't know. You guys will know when I put this up if I put them both up together or if I separated them and did um, one at a time. I basically did just like a get ready with me, chatty get ready with me. I'm um, just kind of talking about a few things, you know, life trips that are coming up and all that good stuff but right now I'm sitting at a red light and I think this red light is going to be quite a long one because they're doing some construction um, which is great it's definitely well needed around here we definitely needed new pavement on the road smoother roads smoother drive so definitely not complaining about that uh, it's just it backs up traffic and that's always just like miserable. Nobody likes to sit in that stuff. But anyway, nonetheless, hello, good morning, Thursday. We are headed out to Target. Um, I wanna go and just kind of walk around Target. I had not been to Target in, I don't know, two, three weeks maybe. I know we jumped into Target really quickly when I was um, with my mom, my aunt, and my cousin, um, but that was two weeks ago today. So I haven't stepped foot in Target since then. And then prior to that, I don't remember when I was in Target before that. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to head to Target and then I thought maybe I would go to Home Goods as well. Okay, see, now we have the green light and now he's put, telling us to stop. Come on. Now we're going to have to sit here again. Uh, so I think I'm going to go to Home Goods as well. Okay, hold on. We're, we're headed out. I'm going to go. All right. So sitting through the red light again. This is the third time. <laughs> Anywho, um, what were they saying? Oh, I also wanted to home, head into Home Goods because I actually kind of wanted to see if they have any more Halloween um, decorations out. Uh, because when I was there two weeks ago with my mom, my cousin, my aunt, um, they actually did have a very small amount of Halloween and fall decorations out. But I have also seen um, posts where there has been a little bit more going out not so much in my home goods but in like other home goods stores so i want to check it out i want to see um i was going to stop right there at my walgreens to pick up my max salt but the line for that was also very long so i'm like okay i'll hit that on the way back hopefully um but anywho um oh man this is gonna be so nice when it's done but woo, and it's definitely needed it so bad um, but anyway, yeah, so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. I'm also going to be making a meatloaf today. I'm going to be trying that Miranda Lambert's meatloaf, which if you guys have heard about the whole like Miranda Lambert fiasco when people were taking selfies at her um, concert in Las Vegas and she stopped the show to tell them that let's listen to some music and not take selfies. I found that to be a little rude. Um, you know what? Because we pay, not me, but people pay to go to her concert to see her sing and they're paying to see you sing if they want to take a selfie with you in the background i think that they have every right to do that like every concert goer does that you know they're always taking pictures they're taking selfies of themselves you know with them in the background type of thing so for her to stop her show and say that to those ladies that's a that's kind of like a buzzkill you know what i mean it's kind of sad but it's like you're not all that great that you have to like uh okay we're going let's go like i said it's definitely needed but whoo man it just holds up a bunch of traffic but anyway all right we're gonna head up over this mountain and i'll see you guys at target so something very exciting has happened at our target starbucks used to be right there and now because they've been doing redoing the starbucks it's over here. I haven't had one of these either in about two weeks. I think I'm getting myself a Starbucks. Alrighty, so I got my caramel ribbon crunch and we're just gonna shop around Target and check out all the new stuff that they have. I always loved this shampoo, but it's so expensive, 34 and $35. That is just crazy, but I love that shampoo. That is like the best shampoo ever. All 
Alright, so I was looking for one of these because I have all that pilling on my bedspread. I think I'm going to try this. I would assume that two AA batteries were required. Alright, I'm going to give this a try and see if that works for my bedspread because I have such a bad time with that thing. Alrighty, so they do have a lot more out this time, which is great. So I love this like book of spells that is fun that is great for like decor $14.99 yeah I love that I like the witches they're super cute yep 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 and then they have all this stuff out So this is what I picked up from Target. I want to organize um, Brian's cabinet underneath his sink in his bathroom. So I got this stuff to do it because that that uh, cabinet is driving me crazy. So yeah, I've already kind of done all, um, did this, pulled them all out and I'm gonna take these off and then we're gonna go work on that maybe tomorrow or something. Not sure when we're gonna do that, but I'll let you guys know when we do it. I'll share it with you guys. And then um, I'm actually getting ready to make the meatloaf um, from the Miranda Lambert cookbook. This is called Bev's Famous Meatloaf. And I'm actually only using like one pound of ground beef instead of two because it calls for two. I'm just using one. And then it actually calls for ground pork sausage as well. And I couldn't find pork sausage, so we're skipping that part. But we do have the crackers, the bell pepper, the onion, the eggs, the Worcestershire, the mustard, the brown sugar, ketchup, and flour. And then, um, but the flour is for making the gravy, which is going to be like later on. So we'll figure that all out later. But right now I'm just going to actually mix together like the meatloaf portion of it. So it basically says to add the ground beef, the sausage, crackers, minus the sausage because I'm not doing that again. Crackers, bell pepper, onions, Worcestershire, mustard, and a half a cup of brown sugar into a medium bowl. And mix with your hands until blended. Shape the mixture into a 10 by five inch loaf pan. Place in a baking dish. So this is, I don't have a 10 by five, so we're just gonna use this. And then um, it says to cook for one hour, but I'm not gonna cook it yet uh, because obviously it's not time to cook it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and whip this all.
the other thing that I picked up while I was at Target was the Centronella candles. And this is called Palm Blend Candle. It is a Centronella, so I'm going to actually put these ones outside. But they were on clearance for $10.49. So I did get two of those. So I'm going to set those outside. And uh, we'll burn those, you know, whenever we're outside. Alrighty, so my meatloaf is made and I'm not going to put it in the oven just yet. I probably won't put it in the oven till about three o'clock because it actually has to cook for an hour. Then I have to take it out and I have to put that like glaze on top of it. That's where the flour and the ketchup come into play. Um, so I'll do that later on. But right now I'm actually here in my room and I'm actually going to go ahead and put some batteries inside of this um, Conair clothing shaving surface thing so i'm going to give this a try because i'll show you guys what i mean by the pilling on my bed so i've showed you guys this before but if you guys see you can see that it's pilling really bad you can see these little spots everywhere and it's really doing it really bad like up underneath this little blanket but um i want to try to see if i can get some of this up now with this little mechanism Ooh, it's working what okay all right sold it's working boy that's good look at that that stuff is coming off excellent oh wonderful oh great okay so if you guys are like in the if you guys need one of these go to target and get it because this is amazing okay wow and i know i had some like over here too yeah yep all up here oh that is fantastic that is oh my gosh so there's like a really bad spot like right there all right, all right, that's awesome. So now that looks really good. Some on the pillow, some right there. All right, that is great. Wow, you guys can see that it took that, all those little pulls out, and now it looks brand new. Fabulous, wow. All right, make sure you guys go get one of these because it is fantastic. Alrighty, so I have been on the phone with the Amavig copay card people and um, because they, my insurance approved everything, but they wanted me to pay $734 a month for like the copay card, for the copay for my, for my medication. And then I forgot, I'm like, oh wait, the doctor gave me that copay card and I needed to just enroll in that and my payment could be as little as $5 a month. So I went through the whole thing um, and set, did it, it was like a 10 minute thing or whatever on the phone and activated my card and I called my pharmacy and she said, yep, she goes, it is accepted and you only have to pay $5. I'm like, what five dollars from 734 dollars to five dollars that is amazing so i'm hoping that it'll be like that every month when i go pick it up and my um the aim of big copay card is active for three years so all i have to do is re-enroll in three more years and I, i'm still good to go so i'm hoping that from here on out it's still going to be like five dollars i'm sure we'll find out like next month or something if it changes but they do have it available and they do have it ready all i have i'm just waiting for um them to text me and say that it's ready and i'm gonna go pick it up she said about 30 minutes or so i'm like what i'm so excited about that like aim a big copay card if it says five dollars that's what it's gonna say five dollars you're gonna pay five dollars for it i would rather pay five dollars for it because the, the total price for it is like two thousand six hundred sixty six dollars and ninety nine cents and then with the insurance thingy, it was like $734. And then with the copay for the, and with the Amavig card, this is five bucks. Wow. Like, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> so, 
Yay, so I'm gonna go pick up my stuff here in a little bit. Alrighty, so I just got back from Walgreens. I picked up my Amavig, it's in the refrigerator. I'm not gonna start it probably till tomorrow. Um, or I was thinking about starting it like August 1st or when I'm out of my Culipta. But anyway, I went ahead and I made the top glaze part for the meatloaf and it's right there. It's just ketchup and brown sugar in a mixture and the meatloaf is actually in the oven and I'm letting that cook for the hour and I have the potatoes on the stove. I'm gonna wait for those to boil and then I will put butter in it and I use um, whipping cream to make the mashed potatoes nice and fluffy and a whole freaking stick of butter because that's just what we like and it's so good that way. And it's a whole bag of potatoes so, um, but yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait on that and yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna wait on this stuff. And this is also Bluetooth so this actually helps for listening on your phone uh, music, movies, all that good stuff too. So you don't have to like have so many wires hanging around. So, um, and then we got these blankets, which I was talking about earlier, I think. And then I just have to wash them. So these are little blankets that look like a pillow, but when you take it out, it's a blanket and it's super, super soft and velvety. So I'll wash these up and I'll pack them with our stuff. And it has a little like a thingy there so you can connect it to your suitcase if you're bringing like a carry-on. So yeah, I'm very, very happy about all that stuff. And um, we're watching Jeopardy because that's what I like to watch every day at three o'clock. And I'm just kind of waiting for my meatloaf to be done. It's actually looking really good. I actually have the butter and the whipping cream inside of the bowl ready to go for when the potatoes are ready to be put in there. I have the asparagus out and I will put that in the oven here shortly. As soon as I take the um, meatloaf out, I will put these in and then put the meatloaf kind of right next to it because I just have to put this glaze on top of it and go from there. So yeah, it's all coming together and looking really, really good. And it smells delicious as well. was delicious. Brian is not a huge meatloaf fan and I haven't made meatloaf in, I don't know, probably since 2012, 2013. And when I did make it that last time, it wasn't very good. It just didn't turn out very well. But this one, like primo, it is so good. And that little glaze that you put on top of it, which is just a mixture of ketchup and brown sugar, it is so good and so sweet that it's it's absolutely delicious. Best meatloaf I've ever had. <laughs> Best meatloaf I've ever made. And we definitely will be making this meatloaf again. And I will share the recipe with you guys in just a few minutes. Let me get this cleaned up and I'll share the recipe with you and then the vlog will be over. I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. All right, so here is the meatloaf again and there is the recipe for it. I did not make the gravy, we just skipped that part, but I did everything else and it was amazing. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Like I said, this is out of the Miranda Lambert cookbook and best meatloaf I've ever had. <laughs> let me know if you guys try the meatloaf and uh, let me know what you guys think. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. I just want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, let me know. Um, my, where did, my, where did I put my, oh, here it is. My Amavig, my shot. It's right here in the fridge, and I am so thankful for that. So thankful. Um, but anyway, thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys in my next one.